Yeah. Okay, someone tell me what to do. <laughs> well, it's going to be really awkward. Is it raining? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Cover up the camera. Cover it up. <laughs> Off to a good start. So basically my dad was backpacking through Europe and there was a museum that had a bunch of Matisse's in it and he fell in love with the work and the name. It's really so strange to see my name. Like well like his name that I've and adopted. It's your name. That I've adopted, yeah. And it's all over this museum. The art was always in our homes and it's not like anyone in my family is very artistic but it was just something we appreciated. Like we would occasionally go to museums or like living in Australia, we would go to the opera house and just like things like that. Yeah, I, I, and I think it's interesting because a lot of the lines aren't, um, I can't, I don't know the right terms, but like it's not a solid line. Yeah. Whereas like in most like yeah. paintings, like they're very solid and very fine and clean. Yeah. But like just seeing how imperfect they are. His mother actually yeah. said don't ever, don't ever let anyone tell you that it has to look like someone else's or that it has to look real. That's great advice. Yeah, so she was the one that really kind of pushed him mm -hmm. um, in that direction. I think like perfection is crippling and like a lot of people put so much emphasis on doing it perfect that they won't even attempt to do it in the first place. And like even, I guess a basketball player, like one of the things you really have to accept is that you'll most likely never be perfect. And even the best players ever play the game weren't perfect. Hearing that quote is really special to see like, he's had such an impact on the world and art by being imperfect. And just like adopting that in my own life. When I look at it, I look, I'm drawn immediately to the center. Yeah. And that's the part that I enjoy the most. Yeah. And it's like, my, I don't, my eyes don't really wander too much around it. That is the point of this disconnection between spatial planes. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's part of Matisse kind of dismantling all the rules of art. Okay. I don't know, for me it was really cool to see that many original Matisse's and just like gain a little perspective on like who I'm named after and how big of an impact he had on art. And it's really cool to just, to think about like, my dad had that much like forethought going into like naming me and like that, I don't know, it's pretty cool to think that I'm named after someone as special and important as Andre Matisse was to like the art world. And it's kind of cool to think that I can have a little bit of an impact on like the basketball world in my own way as my own version of Matisse.